This is Carrie Johnson with the Iowa Department of Management, and this is part two of a webinar series to assist county auditors and their staff who are working in the uh, local government DOM finance and valuation system to submit values for the um, 2021 valuation year. And this is part two and part one, we kind of gave an overview of what the system looks like and some of the different features. Part two, we're gonna talk specifically about working with tax districts. So in the system, you may find that you need to add or delete taxing districts. When you add any taxing districts, we do ask that you use uniform naming conventions. So using city after the name of a city, using city ag, um, if it's a city ag district, city exempt, if the value is exempt from city taxation, using SCH after the name of a school and TWP after the name of a township, um, using the backslash to separate the various names. And for TIF taxing districts, we'd ask that you use the name of the TIF area followed by either TIF base or TIF increment, whichever one is applicable. And I do include in the instructions some examples of these names. When creating new taxing districts, depending on the type of taxing district, you may or may not need to associate the levy authorities um, in the system. So if you're creating TIF base and increment districts, the online system associates the levy authorities found with the selected parent taxing district when you create the TIF base. And then when you create the associated TIF increment district, the um, system associates those base district levy authorities that are authorized to levy for debt service. So in other words, using the system to create TIF base and increment districts, um, the system itself will do some of the work for you in regards to um, associating the needed levy authorities. And for more information on working with TIF, dis TIF taxing districts, there is the other module um, regarding TIF administration in the online system that you would wanna review. So if we're talking about creating city exempt districts, so city exempt is used when there's an annexation, the city um, is annexing some value, some property, and the city phases in the property value to the city rate. So a portion of value is reported in a regular city taxing district and a portion of value is reported in a special city exempt taxing district that's exempt from the city rate. So they might have a um, sliding scale where, uh, you know, it, the first year, a certain percentage of their value sees the city rate and a portion does not. And then it's sort of a schedule that changes over time. If you have such a um, situation in your county, uh, you would need to use the city exempt tax district type. And um, when you create the tax district, it's going to ask you if it's city exempt and it will associate the appropriate levy authorities based on responses to prompts um, regarding the parent in that case. So if we look at the tax district screen, just to give you kind of an overview um, on what that looks like, when you open up tax districts and you select that as your option, you'll see the list on the screen of all the existing tax district within your county. Um, at the top, you have number, name, county, et cetera. And those are options that you can use to further um, filter down your list. So if you know you need to change the name, for instance, of tax district 123, you can enter that in the number um, box and filter down to you know, showing just that particular search item. With any of your tax districts, you can edit, you can manage associations, and you can delete. So if we talk about editing tax districts, again, you can search by number or name to pull up exactly the one that you need to work with. Um, and once you have what you wanna work with, you select edit tax district beside the tax district you need to change. And there are just certain fields that you can um, work with within the edit field. You can um, change the tax district name and you can also edit the value 100% in taxable you can't change its type or whether or not it's TIF. So in this case, this is a situation where we're editing a tax district name because the school district changed. So we'd go into the name, um, we'd make our changes to the tax district name, and we would select save. 
Um, you can also, if needed, edit tax district value. This isn't something you would normally do, but um, it is a potential in certain cases. So if you have any questions regarding that, um, let me know. But particular, um, in almost all circumstances, this value is going to be populated when you do your upload. So that was editing. You can also manage associations. So what we're talking about there is managing what levy authorities are taxing against that particular tax district. So again, you'd select your tax district and go over to manage TD tax district, LA levy authority associations. And if you need to, for instance, switch out the school, what have you, you would select um, the search box and type in the levy authority that you need to assign to this tax district. So in this case, we're switching out the school. Um, there was a school reorganization. So we went into the search box. We searched for Davis County School, and we will do add to add it to the tax district. And then you can see that it added it, but you also already had a school assigned, right? So you need to unassign that other school to the tax district to complete the process. And it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna unassign? Yes, so then we only have the one school district assigned to that tax district. You can also delete a tax district. Um, again, you pull up the tax district district that you want to work with and you select delete taxing district. If it still has levy authorities assigned to it, then you need to unassign those prior to deletion of the tax district. So you'll get this red um, error message. So to unassign um, the levy authorities against that tax district, you go back to the tax district and select that manage TD LA associations and you'd go through the list and simply unassign the um, levy authorities that are assigned to it. And of course, you would confirm those um, those changes. And it'll you'll see that they come off the list as you unassign them. Then once they're unassigned completely, you would go back, you'd select the red trash can to delete that taxing district. It's going to ask you to confirm that you want to delete it and you would say yes. So in this case, it's going to confirm then that the tax district has been successfully deleted. Keep in mind, if you delete a TIF base district, it'll automatically delete the associated increment district. You can also add a tax district. So again, on the tax district um, option on the left-hand navigation, once you get in there, you see all your tax districts, but in the top right, you'll see an option called add tax district. So we'll walk through creating a city exempt example. So um, you would go through, it's gonna give you a little bit of information at the front and keep in mind, it's gonna tell you click cancel at any point to start over. So if you get into it a couple steps, you realize you don't have the information you need or you did something incorrectly, you can always cancel to start over. So we'll select next and it will populate for you the next available number in your tax district list. This is an editable field, so you can change that number, but um, I do not recommend doing that. Usually you just want to go with the next available number. And then you enter your tax district name using um, our example of uh, the uniform naming conventions. And then in this case, property type, rural or urban. So it's a city exempt, so it would be urban. So we selected city exempt because it's a city exempt type and it's um, going to ask you to select the parent district. So where is this um, you know, property going to be annexed into? You'd select that. It's non-TIF related, so you select non-TIF related. It's not a TIF base or increment and do next. And then it's going to give you an opportunity to review the information. If anything looks incorrect, then you'd cancel to start over or you'd go ahead and create. Any tax district that's not TIF or not city exempt, you'll create the tax district, but then you have to associate the levy authorities manually. So you have to go in, select each levy authority and assign it to that tax district. So we'll go through an example on how to do that. You go uh, again to the, le the um, tax district option Go over to the right hand column once you're there and select add tax district. 
It's going to give you a few reminders. You go ahead and do next. Your basic information, you'll enter your tax district number, of course, and then the tax district name following the uniform naming conventions, and then whether or not it's a rural or unincorporated area tax district or if it's an urban city tax district. In this case, we're going to add an urban tax district and select next. It's going to ask if it is a city ag or city exempt. In this particular option, it's going to be neither, so you just do next. Again, it'll say if it's TIF related or not, and so we're going to say no. And then it has you review the information, right? So here's the name, it's an urban district, it's not TIF, everything looked good, then you do create. Okay, so it created it, it successfully, but then it says, okay, well, you have to assign the levy authorities and do that on the next screen. So um, when you pull up that tax district, you'll see that there are no mappings, no levy authorities assigned to it currently. These are the basic uh, um, assignments, essentially, the basic of the list of levy authorities that would have to be taxing in that taxing district. So you need to have, it's an urban district, you need to have the county, you need to have the school. Everybody's got an ag extension, an assessor, and a community college, and then since it's urban, there would need to be a city. Now, this may not be all of the levy authorities that are applicable to this tax district. It may be a county that has a county hospital, for instance, and so that would need to be applied. But these are the absolute basic um, associations that are required of any and all urban district. So it's going to make sure to help you um, at a minimum make those assignments. And then to start to make the assignments, you're just going to type in um, the name of the levy authority that you need to assign or the number if you would rather go by number. So for this, um, in this case, we're going to say, okay, well, we know uh, we're in County 90, so we know that's Wapalo. So we're going to type in Wapalo and we'll assign um, our different levy authorities with the plus signal. If you happen to forget one of the required levy authority assignments, like the school or, or a city or township, et cetera, you will see an error when you run your errors check and you'll be unable to file your values. So the system will check to make sure, again, that you have assigned those basic levy authorities that, uh, that we know that the system knows are applicable to any um, city or um, township tax district. The error message does tell you which taxing district has the error. You'll notice that with the error messages. So you can go back to tax districts, search for that tax district with the error, do manage associations for that tax district, and um, pull up that uh, missing levy authority, levy authority and assign it. So in this case, again, we had all, everything, but whoops, we forgot the community college. We're going to go ahead, um, search for the applicable community college using the search button and use the plus button to assign it. If you have any questions about working with tax districts in the online system, please call me. You can reach me by phone or by email. Thank you.